Good Friday morning. Another pretty sunrise out there. It's a little more daylight than it was when I started setting up for this yoga session and I can see Venus out there so pretty and bright that morning star and then some other stars up higher in the sky. The winter sky is always so pretty especially when it's nice and clear. I don't know what the temperature is I didn't look at that but it's pretty out there. Let's do some yoga. Meet me on your mat. Let's start out on our backs. And just arrive. Whatever shape feels best for you to start out in today. Maybe wiggle fingers and toes. Turn the head a little side to side. And then start to sway the knees. Just sway, feel the weight pour across the sacrum. A little massage. Waking up the hip joints. And maybe you're like me, you kind of sleep all curled up in a ball, so start walking the feet out a little further as you turn the knees side to side. And then reach long, a good morning stretch, waking everything up. And you might even yawn with this. And then exhale, draw the knees to the chest, curl up little counter stretch feel the back body stretching now and then inhale reach long again good morning stretch maybe even a little wiggle one hand reaches further up than the other and then curl up breathe roll your shoulders around and one more time reach long And draw just the right knee in this time. Keep the foot flexed and pull the knee close. Pull the thigh close. We're going to keep that left leg active and in line with the hip. Foot will be flexed. And do We're going to do 20 circles beginning with an inward turn of the right foot. We'll increase range of motion as that joint Wakes up. Keep going. And this might start to feel hard, difficult to do. Let's bring some awareness into the feet. We've got five more. And then reach long again. Good morning, stretch. Maybe even flipping the palms. Fingers are laced. A little inside out of the hands. And then draw the left knee in. Keep that right leg active. Flex the foot and start your 20 circles moving inward. So a clockwise direction of the left ankle. And maybe compare the sensations between the left and the right. My left ankle is much more crunchy than the right. Nice and slow. So you increase the range of motion and probably in such a subtle way that you don't notice it. The range of motion will increase. And then reach long, good morning stretch. Maybe flip the palms. Now draw the right knee in again. Let's open the knee to the right. So you can cradle the knee in your hand. You can reach out there for your toe. And maybe the weight of the arm just helps to press that right hip open a bit. And once you get here, move the knee. So we'll straighten the leg and bend the leg. 
feeling the sensation of stretch in the hamstrings and then some of the quads and the inside of the thigh. Where are you feeling it? Now let's take the knee across the body to the left, nice and slow. And you can always bring a block under your knee as you come over if that feels good. And try to keep the right arm out on the floor. And I'm kind of tight this morning, so I'm just hanging out in space too much. So I'm going to bring my hand and just shorten the lever, bring my hand to my ribs. And breathe. Then play with the neck here. We're going to turn the head side to side. In a twist like this, I generally guide you into looking in the opposite direction of the knee, but let's try looking in the same direction of the knee and see how that feels. Breathe. Now come back to center. Do a few circles in the hip, but guide the circle with just the leg. So release the knee. And you can be clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever direction feels good. Maybe you reverse the direction. Keeping that left leg active, the foot's flexed, and then lay the right leg down on the mat and pause. Experience the sensation in the left leg and the right leg. Now let's draw the left knee up. Engage the right leg by flexing the foot. We're gonna open that left knee to the left. You can reach down there for your big toe. You can take your shin, you can reach behind the knee. If you have a strap and you wanna use the strap, you can do that. And once you get out here, start playing with straightening the leg and bending the knee. Gradually coaxing those hamstrings to release a bit preparing for our practice. And then coming to stillness, reach over, take that knee and bring it to the right side. Again, you can bring a block under the knee if it feels good, especially in these first twists. And take that left arm and lay it out onto the floor and I'm much more open on the left side this morning for some reason so i'm going to lay my arm out there and then roll the head around here experience looking towards the left fingers and then also experience just looking to the right side to side and then back to center First, we'll draw that knee in, then release it, and we're going to do some circles through the hips. But I'm extending that leg long as I rotate through the hip. Feel the movement across the low back. But also notice that you've engaged your core now to support the movement of the leg. Do a couple more. and then draw both knees into the chest. Take the hands behind the knees and we're gonna rock and roll six times up to the sit bones to balance and then back. You can bring the legs up higher if that feels good in your body. You can even come over into a gentle plow. Kind of a quasi shoulder stand. I've got two more. One more. And then balance, finding a boat pose here. Now we'll feel the core. Whew, really balancing back there, rolling around. Let's hold this for eight breaths. Shaking is fine. Focus on the breath. I've got four more. And then come up into Sukhasana. I'm going to turn my seat here so 
I can face my computer and rock a bit here from sit bone to sit bone, maybe bringing those knees into a little movement, more movement into the hips. And then find balance. Inhale, swing your arms up. Now take the right hand to the mat and we're gonna kind of reach out there, keep the left sit bone reaching into the mat as you reach up and over with the left arm. Reach in both directions. Now, oftentimes I take you into shoulder circles from here. This time it's a little different. I want you to turn your chest so you're looking at that right hand and bring that left hand kind of down in an arc, up and over like you're painting a rainbow and then lift the heart, lift the gaze. Bring that arm back and down and then keep going. Keep that left sit bone anchored as you move through the shoulder, through the spine, through the ribs. Where do you feel this? Let's do two more. And last one. And then swinging both arms up and overhead. Bring your hands together and then hands to heart. Pause and notice. What do you feel left and right? Maybe even noticing the breath. It may feel easier to draw the breath into the left side now that we've stretched out all those intercostal muscles, those secondary muscles of respiration. Let's do the second side. Inhale up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over, right sit bone reaching downward. <sighs> breathe here, breathe into those right ribs like gills. And then we'll add that little diagonal rainbow. So I'm gonna turn my chest, take my right hand over towards my left, and then up, over, lift the heart, lift the gaze. And maybe your arm just comes here or maybe you can reach way back there. And then up and over, draw your rainbow. Let's do two more. One more. And then rising up, both hands above you, hands home to heart. Pause here and notice. Let's switch the cross of the legs. Do some shoulder rolls, forward, up, back, and down. Noticing shoulder blades here. And if you're like me, you're noticing the crunchy sound in your shoulders. <laughs> doesn't hurt. If it hurts, don't do it. But mine doesn't hurt. It's just probably a little arthritis, I guess. And pause. Just any little last minute moves through the shoulders and the neck. Meet me in table. And come towards the back of the mat and go through a few cat and cow here. Little self-care of the spine. So move. Just find some ways to move. Find those muscles that are still not quite awake yet and remind them that the day has begun. It's time to move. Tuck your toes, meet me in down dog. And again, arriving in down dog, continue your exploration, continuing to find space, length, movement and eventually stillness walking the feet wide left and right edges of your mat and step the feet forward a little bit so you've shortened your down dog now maybe your heels come to the mat keep your knees bent a lot and again we can rock here a little bit kind of bounce the heart up and down feel how that kind of coaxes the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings into a stretch, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders. 
bringing some extension to the thoracic spine between the shoulder blades where we get that hump. And then back to stillness again. Take your left hand under your body, reach over to your right shin. Add a little twist here. Look under the right arm, up towards the ceiling. Breathe into the stretch, then unwind. Take the second side, reaching across to the shin. Twist, look under the arm, lift the gaze. Breathe into the twist. Back to the short down dog. With your feet wide and your knees bent deeply, as you exhale, walk your hands to your feet. We'll come up into a high squat. Forearms rest on the thighs, but that's not an opportunity to just release your weight down onto the thighs. So a light touch. You should be able to lift those forearms up. Bring your fingertips together. Pull the feet away from each other while you're in this shape. Feel the activation of those outer hips to support you. Reaching through the crown of the head and at the same time, drop your shoulders away from your ears so your, your neck lengthens like a turtle. Feel that axial extension of the spine. Keep pulling the legs away from each other. Inhale, swing your arms out and up. And exhale. Hands home to the heart. Pause here. Noticing sensation now that we've changed our orientation to gravity. Step your feet under the hips. And we're going to work the feet just a little bit this morning um, in a way that maybe I've not done with you. But the feet, we jam our feet in shoes all the time. I'm sure you've heard my foot lecture if you've practiced with me very long. So I want you to look down at the feet and lift the toes and spread them as wide as you can and then place them down one at a time. I'm finding your mountain pose here. I want you to come up onto the balls of the feet and then slowly come down and lift the toes. So the balls of the feet stay on the floor and then those toes come down as we roll up onto the balls of the feet. Lift the toes, weight shifting kind of forward and back from the front of the foot to the back of the foot. Let's do three more. One, two, and see as you come up if you can press down into the base of the big toe. It's easy to roll out to the pinky toe edge of the foot, at least in my body. And then come up one last time and we're gonna hold for 10, nine, a little balance, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down slowly. As you come down slowly, bend the knees, flex at the hips, and drop the arms down. Breathe. Take the hands to the tops of the feet. Just rest the hands on the tops of the feet. Feel the warmth from the hands. On your inhale, lift halfway. So lengthen through the legs. Reach through the crown of the head. Fingertips can be on the mat, on your shins, on your thighs, on some blocks. Now we're gonna walk out into plank. You might have to adjust those feet. Come on to the balls of the feet, and in our plank, let's rock a bit. So forward and back, making sure to take care of the wrists by pressing the mat away, more for the shoulders than the wrists, and then press into the base of the index finger, base of the thumb, and grip the mat with your fingertips as you shift forward and back. And then coming to stillness in your plank. Next inhale, find a downward facing dog. Walk the feet forward a bit and wide. Drop the heels down to the mat or in that direction. So we're deeply flexing the foot. This is called dorsiflexion. And breathe. 
Now I'll take that twist again. You have the option of, we'll take the left hand first, lift up onto the ball of the right foot, reach the hand to the outside of the foot, wrap the fingers around, and then press the heel down and let that help you deepen this twist. Or you can always go to that first option by reaching for the shin or the thigh, unwind. We'll take the second side. Now the left foot comes up onto the ball of the foot like you're on a high heel, right hand under and over to the outside of the foot, pull down, twist. Press the heel down. Maybe you even lift the hips a bit here. Breathe. Unwind, bend the knees deeply, walk the hands to the feet. Pull the feet away from each other. Keep the knees bent, let the arms hang, let the head hang, let's round up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. As you arrive, inhale, sweep your arms up, step your feet under the hips, and exhale, hands home to the heart. So one more foot exercise, and this one's kind of intense. And if you have a piece of furniture close by, you may want to hang on. I'm gonna take my toes, everything except my big toe. So the four little toes. I'm on my left foot and I'm rolling those toes under and then starting to press the heel down. Now your heel may have to stay up some. This is intense. This isn't pleasant. But this is moving the bones of the feet, keeping space in the joints. So the feet can move like they're meant to. Let's take two more breaths here. Try to soften in to that, that really intense sensation. And then release. We'll take the second side. So the four outer toes, gonna roll them under and then slowly and mindfully. Maybe you don't come all the way down or maybe you can bring the heel to the floor. Send your breath to that sensation. Maybe a sense of expanding the muscles as you inhale and then an invitation to release and relax as you exhale. Two more breaths here. And then release. And then one more thing on each side. Now it's just the big toe. So the big toe tucks, same thing. Maybe you can come down to your heel, maybe not. And then second side, big toe, tuck it under. The other toes are straight. Ooh, this side is much tighter for me. Two more breaths. and then release. Inhale, swing your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And again, let's lay the hands on the feet, bend the knees a lot, send a little love to the feet. We've worked them hard. Breathe. Now heel toe those feet together until the big toes are touching. You can keep some space between the heels. Knees are bent already. Let's lower the hips some more. Bring your arms up by your ears as you lift your torso, coming up into Utkatasana chair pose. Tuck your tailbone here. Maybe you sink a little lower. On your next inhale, let's rise up. Adding a little back bend, let's open the arms into goddess. And then exhale, hands to heart, neutralize the spine. Swing your arms out and up. Let's lean forward at the hips, bend the knees. We're gonna swing those fingertips down towards the ankles. So my knees are behind my toes. Now I'm gonna swing my arms up by my ears. Take the left hand and lay the forearm across the thighs. You can fold forward a little more here. We're gonna take a bit of a twist. I'm gonna take the right hand and put my thumb down and take that half bind, bringing the back of my hand behind my sacrum, behind my pelvis. 
and twisting here. If your right hip wants to pull back, let that happen. That left knee might want to come forward a bit, let that happen. And then play with the gaze. Maybe look up towards the ceiling. Now look down towards the floor as you unwind. Bring both arms down towards the mat. Touch the mat with the fingers swinging all the way up. And exhale the hands home to the heart. Let's swing the arms up. Reach forward as the hips go back and down. The knees bend. Trickle the hands down towards the mat. And then lifting up. Bring the right forearm or the other forearm if I've screwed up my mirroring here. It seems like I did. <clears throat> now we're gonna take left hand, back of the hand behind you. Can you see my fingers over here? And then I'm gonna come into my gentle twist here. Breathe, maybe lift the gaze a little higher. Feel this twist. Take the gaze down to the earth and walk the hands out and find your plank again. Adjust your feet. Still there, hip distance. Could be even a little wider. A little more rocking here. And then settling into your plank. Drop your knees. Bend the elbows so they point behind you. Control this descent to the earth. Come up into Sphinx now. So elbows right underneath the armpits. Fingers are spread wide, palms of the hands down. Push the hands into the earth, pull them back. Let that pull your heart forward as you press into the elbows and lift the heart through the gate of the forearms, the upper arms, and breathe. Let your mind go to that space between your shoulder blades and see if you can bring a little more back bend there. Remember, that's where we get that hump. Let's see if we can coax the thoracic spine into a bit of extension, a little counter pose to that hump. Breathe. Now take your left forearm and pivot on your elbow so that arm supports you. Extend long through the right hand as you look over the right shoulder. Now bring your gaze forward. We're going to bend the right knee and reach back with the right hand for the ankle. And pull the heel towards your bottom. Push the hand into the foot, foot into the hand, and then try to square the shoulders to the mat. Feel that stretch in the front of the right thigh. And maybe you really push that foot into the hand and open through the chest. And release, and we'll take the second side. So right forearm underneath the chest. Sphinx on the left hand, push into that left hand. I was a little quick to bend the knee. Look over the left shoulder, so a little bit of a twist here. Then unwind the twist, bend the knee. Swing the left arm back there, find the ankle. And notice how you can really open the left chest. Keep that and turn the chest towards the mat. First, let's see if we can find that quad stretch by drawing the heel a little closer to the butt. Then push the foot into the hand. You'll rise up a little more in a deeper back bend. But you'll really feel a nice stretch here in the front chest and you'll feel some extension of the spine between the shoulder blades. And release, find crocodile. Separate those legs, bend the knees. And one shoulder right positions, left and right, maybe even some circles. Now line the feet up with the hips again. We're gonna come into a wheel pose. Bend the knees bow pose not wheel pose and then swing back and find your ankles we're going to try to do both legs and before you do much at all 
open the shoulders. So you're going to roll, kind of shrug them up towards your ears, back and down. Feel the shoulder blades reach towards the spine. Maybe that's it. Or maybe you push the feet into the hands and lift the heart a bit higher, lift the knees a bit higher. Breathe. Try to keep the knees in line with the hips. And then without slingshotting the shins, release the shins to the earth. Find crocodile one more time. Bend the knees, bring the hips along for a ride, release the low back. And then come into child's pose. So keep the knees wide and press the hips up back and down as you draw the toes together. Happy puppy can be good here too. And breathe. Up and down the spine. Now from your child's pose, I'm in a wide knee child's pose, um, probably doable with the knees in line with the hips too. I'm gonna thread the needle, but with both arms. So I'm gonna take my left hand behind my right, and I'm not really gonna twist my upper back. And I'm gonna take the left arm and cross it in front. Getting a nice stretch now between the shoulder blades. And we're going to bring the shoulder blades close to the spine. Now we're wrapping them forward. Breathing between the shoulder blades. Not the head, just the chin rest on your arm. You could bring a block under your head here too. And just take the arm that's on the bottom underneath and bring it to the top. I'm just going to switch. And notice differences. This is really different for me. Nothing forced. Just gently settled into a nice stretch. And reach both arms up towards the top of the mat, maybe a little Anahata Asana here, reaching, letting the heart come down, and then shift forward, line those knees up, find down dog. Bring the feet together and then swing your right leg back and up. Bend your knee, let's stack the hips here. So get the hip, hips stacked and then pay attention to the shoulders, square the shoulders to the mat. Breathe into all sensation. What are you feeling? Where are you feeling it? Now square the hips to the mat. As you round the back, ripple forward and bring your right foot forward. Help it out if you need to. Drop the left knee. Keep the left hand on the mat. Maybe even walk it out to the edge of the mat. Sink down into those hips. Take the right hand to the right knee. Maybe you turn those toes out so you can really sink down into this. And maybe you reach up. Maybe you turn that thumb down and bring the back of the hand to the low back coming into that half bind like we did in our twisted chair. And breathe. Unwind this. Take both hands to the inside of the right foot. We'll come into lizard, so blocks could be helpful underneath your forearms. Maybe you just like having the arms out straight and gently walking them forward. Maybe the forearms make it down, maybe not. Breathe. And if you're on your forearms, stay on the forearms. Bring that right leg back and we'll come into a forearm plank. And shift forward and back here. Shifting forward, drop the hips. We'll revisit Sphinx pose. And maybe even pivoting on the elbows, pressing into the hands and coming into seal. A little deeper back bend. Coming back down. Bring the hands underneath the armpits. Meet me in down dog. 
When you arrive in down dog, walk the feet together and then send the left leg back and up. Bend the knees, stack the hip. Notice how the chest wants to twist too. Once you get the knee settled, then reach stronger through that left arm, squaring the hips to the floor. Squaring the shoulders to the floor. Now square the hips to the floor. Round the back and slowly bring that left foot up between the hands. Help it out if you need to. Drop that back knee. Take the right hand off to the edge of the mat. I think I'm really messing up my mirroring today. I'm sorry if I am. Now take left hand to left knee. Turn the toes out a little bit here. Start to sink down into the hips any amount. And then maybe you reach up. And bring the left hand behind you. Just gently drawing yourself into a little deeper twist. Now check on the right hand, the supporting hand. Make sure you haven't shifted your weight to the little finger edge of the hand. Keep it in the thumb and the index finger and grip. Now unwind, bringing both hands to the inside of the foot and sliding into some kind of lizard. Maybe you just walk the hands a little further. Maybe as you gently come into this stretch, you come to the forearms, you can have blocks under your forearms as well. Breathe. And let's take one more forearm plank. Shifting forward and back. And this time, don't let the balls of the feet do the work. So pull with the hands. And you'll really feel engagement of the core, the internal obliques, the external obliques. Drop your knees and meet me in a seated position. Bring your soles, the soles of your feet together here. Let's give the feet a little more love. Let's massage the feet. And the toes. And see if you can spread your toes wide and then take your fingers, tops of the feet, and thread the fingers in between the toes. It doesn't feel good. Breathe. Release the toes. Now slide your thumbs in between your feet and open the feet like the page of a book. Let your pelvis come forward and fold forward in this Baddha Konasana. The forearms can help to open the knees here a bit. And then if it feels good in your body, just let go into this shape, let the head hang. Rounding through the spine, breathe up and down sensation, maybe even sway a little bit here. Come on to the fingertips. And bring the knees up and then open the legs wide. Upa Vista Konasana. Adjust on the sit bones. Send the heart forward and down. Amount. Your hands can support you, or if you're feeling nice and open, reach out for your toes. And then rising up, bend the knees. And let's come to the back. Find your way down, keep your knees bent, and the soles of the feet on the floor. Lay the hands down on the mat, palms down, close to the hips, and then lift one shoulder at a time and tuck your shoulder blades down so they're flat and like hands underneath your lungs. As you inhale, lift your hips. So it's like you're lifting your back. Lift the back up. And then exhale, come down. 
Let's do one more and hold. Inhale up. And maybe we go a little deeper by bending the elbows. Palms face each other across the belly and then pushing into the triceps, the upper arms. You can lift the back of the head, tuck the chin, give yourself some space in the neck. And see if you can come up a bit higher. Now, as you come down, I want you to come down from the top to the bottom, but really mindfully here. So think about the, the space between the shoulder blades. Let those vertebrae start to press down into the floor. And then we get to the bottom of the rib cage. Now we're in the lumbar spine, the low back. See if you can bring one vertebrae at a time. Reach with the tailbone. So as you arrive, you come down and the sacrum is flat, flat low back. He'll toe your feet to the left and right edges of the mat. A little windshield wiper here, if it feels good. And then any last minute movements you might need. I'm gonna come into kind of a five pointed star shape today. And if you've joined me in this shape before we settle in for relaxation, just like we did our good morning stretch, let's press down with our extremities tighten everything, maybe even make a fist with the fingers and toes, the, the low back lifts a bit. Inhale to the top of the inhale, and then as you exhale, open the mouth and let everything go. Rest here for a few breaths. Drawing in on the breath this whole week. Draw everything in from Monday until today. And then as you exhale, exhale through the mouth and just release this week. And then next inhale, reach back to the beginning of the month. in on the in breath and then exhale let it all go and then reach clear back to the beginning of the year draw that all in and as you exhale open the mouth and let it go space. Let's start some small movements. Find your way back to the physical body, feeling those sensations. And move in whatever way feels best for you today. As we're launching ourselves into Friday, to a weekend. Find your way to a seated position. That sunshine made it up again. It never forgets us. Let's reach up one more time. Boy, some big bird just flew by. And then draw the hands to the heart. May you have peaceful thoughts, peaceful words, a peaceful heart, and a peaceful world. Namaste. I'll see you Monday, 7 a.m. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining me.